I'm going to attempt to make a minty pie. I just, well, about a month ago now, I bought raspberry pie and everything I need for a minty pie. And I also bought just a few weeks ago the 3D printed parts and they only got in today. So I thought that I would attempt making it today. Because I have been wanting to make it for a while now. So try getting into that. I'm going to put this and screw it onto that 3D printed part. So I'll just go in here. Okay, I just have them all screwed on now. Now I have to move to the next part. Now, I'm watching Wormy's video, and in Wormy's video, he uses a clear flux pen. I didn't do that. I just used this stuff and this and just brushed it on, which I probably shouldn't have done. Should have bought, bought a pen, but it's going to have to do. I just done a few, just like three of those, and I hope to get the rest on camera once my uh, soldering iron gets all nice and warm. So, as you can see, um, what I did here was I put flex on this piece, Red Cross. And then after I did that, I put this on, screwed it with two holes, and then went in and soldered it with this fine tip on my soldering iron. Um, and now, it should get continuity. So, that pin with that pin. Yep. As you can see, it beeps on there, so. And then, this one to this one. I don't, hmm. there we go, okay. So these are both fine, as you can see. This pin does not get anything. It does not go on any of these test points. So, whereas these two get those, this one does not work on any of them. And so, not all of these get a test pad. Only like about half of them do, or a little more than half. As you can see, there are not as many of these test points as there are those. There are only like three more. Maybe less, I don't know. Didn't count them. But once the iron gets all nice and warm, do more of those. Okay, so it should be warm enough now. Get some on there, and then seconds in the hole. What to do with this camera in the way? Okay, I have done two more. Um, check them, they're all good. And as you can see, my job's not too great because it goes, it, this solder doesn't fill up the thing completely. Not sure if it needs to, like, uh, this first one's good. The second one still is, there's something wacko about that. And that one, that second pin is really important. 
because it connects to Y. So I'm going to go through all of them. I'm going to put solder in all of them and then check uh, continuity instead of doing a couple and then checking it. I'm just going to do all of them and then check it and then fix all the ones with cold solder stuff. I'm new at doing this stuff. This is only like, if you watch my videos, this is only like the third thing I've done. So, I better do it good. Now I'm going to add the button. The button is just in this little case. Um, came with everything else. And the button goes right there. Um, so what I need to do is attach a little bit of solder to like one of those points. And then solder it on just to one of those. And then I'll just go through and do the rest. So, I'll give it a go. Okay, so I got the button out. Now all I need to do is take the iron, should be hot enough now, take some of this, and then just on this little spot, well, first, I probably want to put some flux on it. Just take my brush. And move that out of the way. Don't want to burn myself again. And then just apply a little bit. Those points. Okay, just like that. And then... Take some of this flux. I put the point in there. So I'm now going to attach the speaker. So I put some flux on a toothpick. The brush is not really that great for doing this. I should have done it for the button as well. But I'm just going to put some flux on right there. And I'm going to hopefully solder it on good. You can see, I'll need to put it on better, but put it on right there, and hopefully when I put this on, I might need to adjust it actually, because it might be too long still. When I put it on, okay, I guess, I suppose it is fine, but... I want the speaker to be housed in there nicely, and I might need to adjust it, but yeah, I'll probably need to cut it down shorter, yeah, just like that.
Okay, so I just got the speaker all soldered on and attached. Very sloppy job, but it won't really matter. Uh, I think it'll be fine. It fits on pretty good, too. Do mean to wiggle it around a little, but it shouldn't matter too much. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to attach this switch onto this board. I believe it goes on just like that. And instead of using that stupid brush, I'm going to use a toothpick, which should work much better because I can just apply a little bit onto each just like that. So, don't need much. I think I got enough already, but. Okay, put some in each now. Okay, so I just finished putting it on, if this camera goes into focus. Okay, you can see right there that I put it on. Not the nicest of jobs. I actually had to flip it around because I think I had it on upside down. But, yep, yeah, now it's on. Hopefully it works. Okay, so I just found uh, my L&R button board. It was actually in a slit in the package, so I, I was like, wait, did I lose it? But no, I found it. So, I take this, and there's this little notch right there, and I just slide it into there. And it sits right nicely in this board. Then I gotta solder it. quality camera now now you can see what I have done much better so I have soldered the switch on not that great of a job and this on too put it in there and I have also um, soldered the speaker on and this button I might have to resolder that because it's really bad and I did all of that. So, the last thing I think I need to do is solder the battery connector right there. Put the screen on and see if it works. Okay, so I just rested the connector in there. I now need to solder it. And uh, there are small holes right there that I also need to solder. And I turned off the soldering iron like a complete idiot, so that has to heat back up. Okay, so I just soldered one of those down. Uh, gotta get the other three now. This one I think is gonna be very hard because I don't wanna melt this post. Might have to take it out a little, I don't know. And then I have to get those. I put some flux on. Again, not a very nice job, but it'll do.
Hopefully I got it good enough. This side I did not do too hot on. But this side I think I did pretty good. So I might go back and clean it up a little bit. I'm now going to solder this wire from that pad to this pad. I totally forgot about this step, but uh, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so I got one down. I got a couple more to go. I attached all the wires. Again, not a very good soldering job. I think it's going to fold over like that. Um, now I have to get this case, uh, put the buttons in, and I think I'm just about done. Then I screwed it all down. And I think all I need to do now, put the screen on, and it should be pretty much done. Um, everything down. Got the holes in the back then too. And then I'll put it in the case, and then I'll be done. Okay, just gotta put this last corner in. It's quiet again. Three, two. No. <laughs> That's it. Done. Now. All I need to do is screw it in. First, I'm going to make sure it all works. Okay, put the screen back on. Let's see if I turn it on. Come on. No, it didn't turn on. <laughs> My worst fear came true. I'm going to check out the ribbon cable. Doesn't look like it took any damage. Try putting it back in. Nope. Nada. I don't know what's up now. Gotta take it apart again, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So, it wasn't turning on, right? I think I found out the reason why. <laughs> I kind of forgot to put the battery in. So, kind of sucks that I got to take it apart again, because this thing is so annoying to put take it apart and put back together. But at least I don't have to resort or something. So. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll take it apart and then I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to put the battery in this time. And I think mine was printed upside down because in Wormy's video, this side was up inside of here. But mine is the opposite way. I don't know. Okay, battery in. Now I'll put it back together again. Hopefully I won't have to take it apart again. Nothing goes wrong. After you give it a little force, it goes in nice and easy. If I could give you a better view of this, Let's see if I can. Sorry for the messy desk. Okay, here we go. And then the last thing is just pop right on in there. Oof. Um, again, before I finish it off, move that out of the way. I'm gonna put this in. Perfect. So, 
think that means I can do this. Taking the screen protector off before already, but God, I love doing it. So I put it back on all the time. Also to protect the screen, of course. Okay, so that goes right on in there. Uh, I should be able to just take this now. Probably should screw this down first. So I think I'm gonna do that. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna turn it on make sure it's all nice and running can snap the SD at all yep it's all good can see retro push. Hopefully it's running right. Yep, emulation station. There we go. Downloaded some games. Of course, it had to be classic Mario Bros. Well, Mario Bros. 3, Mario Bros. 1, Mario Bros. 2. That's what I downloaded. This case, I feel like, is not in properly. Probably check that out later, though. I guess we'll put this up here. I know how to. Let's see. Now I'll put that on later. There it is. A little finicky, but the button for some reason is very finicky. The T pad, but it's okay. Yep, okay. So it works fine. I'm gonna do the finishing touches and then show the finished product. Okay, I think I put the bezel on wrong or. Er, this part because it doesn't sound too great and it doesn't close the whole way so oh wait maybe I just got to force it a little bit Whew. definitely adds weight to it though that's it though this special is very very finicky to say the least though let me give it a few bends. Yeah. So I might take this apart again, right up here, to adjust it, because it does close, but very finicky. But anybody want a mint? That's great. Okay. Well. It for the minty pie. I'll be playing a little bit of Mario off camera. And hopefully I can get to making another video soon. Feel free to subscribe. And get yourself a minty pie. Oh, what am I doing? Huh. 
I have no idea what I did. <laughs> but yep, that's it for the video. See you guys later.